Hunting, water bear hunting. I'm in a forest and that is the perfect home for a water bear. They are very small. So we're gonna need a microscope to look at them and see who can collect the most bears. Let's go get started. Let's go bear hunting. So it's not, oh, Andrew, come here. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> so here's the plan. It's a contest. Whoever catches the most bears wins. It's the prize. Bragging rights. There are rules to our bear hunt, okay? okay? We each get three Petri dishes. So you get okay. to pick three moss locations. Here are your tweezers. Forceps. In the science world, they're called forceps. <laughs> I have my tweezers and you have your forceps. You have a strategy? Yes, but I'm not telling you. All right, let's go. <laughs> Water bears, also known as tardigrades, are super, super tiny only about half a millimeter long, and they can survive in extreme temperatures. They can be found everywhere. You can find them in the deepest oceans, the highest mountains, deserts, but their favorite home is moss. Any moss that you see outside, you're almost guaranteed to find water bears living in it. So let's see which one of us can collect the most amount of bears. All right, so let's talk strategy. I think I have a bit of an edge to Andrew. I'm gonna be honest, a couple days ago, I gave it a try. So I kind of know what type of moss to look for. There's a lot on the trees. So I'm gonna start off there. I actually see some right now. Let's go this way. Ooh, that's a good piece. I got my first sample. So I just got regular moss, okay, from a tree trunk. I'll put my finished samples in this pocket. If this stays closed too long, it's gonna start forming bacteria, which would make it really hard for us to see the water bears. So we gotta hurry up. I'm not really too sure what Isla's strategy is gonna be, but I'm just gonna try and go for variety. Three good different spots to see what I can find. I do have a science background, so maybe they'll give me a little bit of an edge. Let's try and find some bears. I think this is what I'm gonna do for my spot number one. I'm not sure where Isla picked yet or what her strategy is, but I think I'm gonna try and get something that's on the ground to start. So this is like real kind of fuzzy little moss. I'm gonna start with that. Pretty solid for our first set of moss. Ooh, that's a lot of lichen. I'm really liking this water bear hunt. It's covered covered in lichen and there must be thousands of bears just on this branch so this is going to be sample number two andrew's going to hate this one i got my second sample full of lichen and a tiny bit of moss it's, i have such high hopes for this one all right so i picked this tree because there's a lot of variety on it there's a lot of this kind of dry stuff so i think maybe that might be helpful because I, I don't know too much about water bears but i know they like hibernate on dry bits. So let's try and get some of that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Lichen and moss. The final sample. This one is the money shot, okay? We've got a whole tree of moss, but then there's also lichen. So I'm just gonna go crazy with this one. It's so cute. I'm really starting to like lichen. I'm just gonna cross my fingers and hope that I have a bunch of bears. Sample three is done. <laughs> we have our two samples and I need to try to find the third one. I wanted to find a rock, but I couldn't really find any rocks. So I found this dead tree that has quite a bit of variety on it. So I think that'll be good. I did find this stick on the floor right under it with all this nice juicy lichen right here. So let's have at it. There's this real nice leafy kind of moss here. So I'm gonna try and grab all these. I'm not too sure what Isla cooked up for her three moss samples, but I have a good feeling about this. But I think this right here is water bear heaven. Now it's time to get inside and see if we caught any bears. Because these bears are so small, we'll need a microscope to see them. So we are back inside, but it's the next day because we had to put our little bears in water overnight. You have to soak your moss in distilled water. So we have all of our samples ready to go. Microscope is here, and we're just gonna see what we caught and see who won the bear hunt. No. <laughs> what we're gonna do is remove all the water. Now the bears are in the water. 
All right, I don't know what this is, but it's a um, tiny snake. It's swimming. Okay, this does not count as a bear, but it's it's something. Let's continue the bear hunt. I need a bear. We found a piece of moss. You can see all the little cells. Oh, you see something moving there. What is that? I don't really know if this is a water bear, but water bears have eight legs and this one has none. So I'm gonna just assume that it's not a water bear. I'm gonna try the next dish. Let's keep looking. Come on bears. I think I found one. This is a water bear. We have a water bear. Oh, he's so cute. What should we name him? Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> I found another one. He's having a snack. Imagine you're so small, you're walking on your food. So I'm at two water bears. You're at two water bears. So let's go look around. Wow, look at this thing. This is an amoeba. Oh, but there's a water bear in here. So the amoeba is the one that's moving really fast. And the water bear is the one chilling right in the middle there. So I'm at three water bears. I'm getting a little nauseous. <laughs> so I'm gonna tap out. I caught three bears. So I'm just gonna hope that Andrew's samples don't work. My most successful dish was the third one. The one where we had a tree trunk mix. So there was some lichen and some moss. Andrew, it's your turn. I'll leave it to you. All right. I'm gonna start with this one, which is the most similar to the one Isla had success with, and maybe we'll see something. All right, so I think we found our first water bear. He's just kind of hugging a piece of food or something. He's pretty cute. He's just like in a little ball. It's been a little while that I've been looking, and honestly, I think my samples aren't quite as good as, uh, as Isla's are. I'm gonna keep looking, but I don't know. I'm getting, getting a little nervous. Another amoeba looking guy, but not a bear. So this wraps up our bear hunt. Would you believe me if I said there are four bears, at least four bears, at least four bears in this house. It's pretty cool. It's crazy how much is living in such small pieces of grass. Yeah. But I ended up with three bears and you ended with one Just bear. One bear. <laughs> I, I got, get bragging you rights. You get bragging rights. That's what I get. You're the, <laughs> the master bear hunter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, next time you go for a hike, just remember how much is living around you. Each step, oh my God. Every step you scrunch a bear. It's but a, they are step. resilient. They can survive in space. I feel like they can survive getting squished in the mud a little bit. Yeah, and they're so pretty so, cute. So small, yeah, they're pretty cute. All right, well, it's a rainy day, so let's go make some hot cocoa. Sounds like a plan. <sighs> <laughs> Smells good.